Hello, gentlemen. This is Hollywood Mike Connolly with the Double Biceps. It is the Daily Combat Podcast. The Double Biceps is in the contract. I didn't read it properly. It was in the fine print. Very small, but now I do it every single time. Definitely not something I made up to show my biceps. The co-host, co-founder, co-breather of air, co-wearer of clothes. It is, in fact, the Count of Monte Cristo, the King of Sting, Thunderlips, the ultimate male. It is... The man himself, the winner of the Dave Stockbridge of the Year Award. It is Dave, Dave Stockbridge, Stockbridge. Welcome to your own show. Thank you very much for that uh, very warm welcome once again, <laughs> Hollywood Matt Connolly. No worries. All right, we have a very special guest today, bringing in uh, some <laughs> gold hardware, uh, an amazing belt uh, made uh, with suede on the inside. This was almost no, like no, a, a, a sheep a car skin, seat. I think uh, it was a very comfortable. I was, I was or a very high quality that. velour, perhaps. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I, yeah. I'd like to think natural fibres. Absolutely, were, were used. it is uh, the recent light heavyweight. XFC. Well, the reigning, the reigning, the defending, reigning, defending, undisputed, defending. Is, it, is, is anybody disputing it? No one's going to dispute it. If they are, too bad. Uh, they're welcome to. <laughs> they can dispute it. They can take it up. They can take with it Damien. up with this man, Damien Bola in the cage. Well done to you, the XFC light heavyweight champion of the world of the world. <laughs> Congratulations on the on the belt and the win and. Yeah. Mate, how, how does it feel now? Because uh, you, you put the call out at the last DFC. You said, look, DFC Dana White, get me a strap. And yep. somehow out of the ether, even before you had a chance to step into uh, the next DFC event, this came along. So this is like manifest destiny. You've just uh, you've just made this happen. Yeah, uh, I, th- I think it was uh, partly uh, I put out a uh, photo on the socials, on the, on the gram, and I was uh, just saying, uh, you know, it, Looking forward to next year to be able to you know beat someone up in the cage and uh, I just tagged all the promotions around Australia <laughs> and then uh, yeah like a few days later I had uh, in the DMs you know like uh, hey well, yeah you're, you're free uh, next week you know and obviously we just obviously on the back of our that was a promoter not just some attractive <laughs> yeah, Instagram yeah. model no no, no. <laughs> okay yeah gotcha oh no, yeah yes uh, just the promoter okay yeah. Um, but yeah obviously on the back of uh, Element Fight Night it was a successful successful night um, yeah. Uh, had yeah had a bit of FOMO you know all the all the guys um, yeah did great uh, obviously from our, our club we uh, I think we were like six and zero for the night like we you know we had a we had a good night as a club and uh, yeah obviously. Yeah, very proud watching from the uh, cage side, but also get that FOMO. You're like, ah, oh, wish I wish I was doing something like this. And <laughs> but yeah, I'll see. Uh, it, but yeah, it it came out like just yeah, twelve days notice. Uh, I was yeah, I was in holiday mode, so I was a little bit little bit chunky. But <laughs> um, yeah, we obviously came to an agreement for obviously T's and C's for the bout, and uh, mm. yeah, got it locked in uh, at a light heavyweight. Strap on the line and, yeah, happy days. And how does that whole business happen? So it, it seems relatively informal that you've, you know, you've thrown it out there on Instagram and then you get a message and then what, what kind of happens next there for you? Uh, well, like, he, obviously he reached out and obviously like I'll, I'll, I'll liaise with Matt, like I was um, head coach. Like yep. They were normally, yeah. I pretty much call him Matt the manager. He's Matt the manager. He's pretty much managing the Pooh Bear, <laughs> keeping, keeping the Pooh Bear uh, in check. Um or trying to. I'm a, I'm a wild man. I'm a wild man. Uh, but uh, yeah, like uh, you know, like so. Yeah, he reached out to me, and obviously, obviously, you know, told told coach straight away, and yeah, um, yeah then we yeah, sort of discussed in liaise, and then yeah, they sort of do their discussions, and yeah, you know, make a uh, make all the uh, you know all the nitty gritty behind the scenes stuff, yep. make it all work, and uh, yeah, we got that locked in, and I so said it was like yeah. 12, 12 days notice. So. Must have happened really quickly, like yeah. from the time that you got the message to the time that yeah, there's like, an agreement in place. Yeah, so it, was it was like, I think it was within like 48 hours. Like, wow. Um, that it was also locked in place. And, and and how much did you weigh at the start of that 48 hour period? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I was uh, I was just a bit over 105 when, mm-hmm. uh, when we found out. Feeling then, good? Yeah. <laughs> I said, I was just Pizza in holiday. one hand, beer in the other. <laughs> in holiday mode. And then, uh, yeah, like... Uh, Obviously, that piqued my interest, and I was like, "Oh, well, you know." So, hmm. I um, just put this pizza and be down. Yeah, yeah. I, di- I didn't uh, didn't have any booze over the weekend, so I like because uh, it was like a, I think it was a Friday night. Um, yeah, I think it was the Friday night they reached out. So, um, sort of yeah, put put down the bo- put down the bottle for for the weekend, <laughs> and then by by the end of the weekend got um, got the, yeah, con- <laughs> got the confirmation that it was uh, 
locked in. So I was like, oh yeah, well, I'm glad, glad I didn't drink this weekend. Uh, uh, and yeah, then obviously you sort of woke up Monday and I was 105 on the dock. <laughs> wow. I was like, oh, okay, we've got 12 kilos in 11 days. 12 kilos in 11 days. <laughs> so I was like, uh, it, it sounds like a, a, some kind of program that you might find on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I might start yeah, One born every yeah. minute. Yeah, the Pooh Bear program. 16 and pregnant, <laughs> 12 kilos in 10 days. <laughs> well, I have to, uh, yeah, start uh, selling the Pooh Bear pre- diet. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Um, but yeah, so uh, yeah, that was that was a fun, you know, eleven days. So uh, you, there's no opportunity there really for a camp. So you just got to yeah. be happy. Okay, I got the skill set. Uh, I, I feel mentally ready. Yeah. And now it's just like, okay, now I've just got to start myself. Is it? Yeah. Pretty much yeah. It? I was. Uh, I was. Yeah. I was just just un, just under two k calories uh, each day. So okay. Um, not total starvation, but obviously, yeah, you know, because yeah, you have a. It, you starve yourself too much, you actually, you like, it stops the weight loss process, you know, oh. your body goes into that, like, yeah, fight or flight mode, yeah. so. What is it called, sorry? Starvation mode. Is it Starvation mode. Yeah. That's it. So it's like, um, yeah, so you still got to eat, you know, a decent amount, like a, a certain amount, but, um, yeah, just did a lot of, lot of cardio. A lot like, of cardio, yeah. A lot of cardio, yeah. Of cardio. yeah like, <laughs> <laughs> it's not fun. What's, what sort of I, cardio were you doing? Uh, I was, obviously, because you don't want to, like, just, like, ligament stress or anything, um, you know, which running does a lot, so, um, Mainly just swimming and cycling. Mm-hmm. Um, I pretty much rode like ten k's every day up until like two or three days before. Um, so we flew out on the on the Wednesday. The fight was the Friday night, so uh, yeah, pretty much for like did like pretty much close to a hundred kilometers on the bike. Like wow. from when I like from the Monday starting of the you know, 11, twelve day camp or whatever. So, so this event was in Melbourne, uh, Brisbane. Oh, in Brisbane. Yeah. Oh, so if you just kind of rode to Brisbane, yeah, it would have been alright. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. With a sauna suit on. Yeah. Yeah. What, what were you when you landed in Brisbane? Or how how many days did you get there before the actual fight? Uh, Wednesday, Arvo. So two, 48 hours before. Okay. What were you weighing when you got there? Uh, about, about 100, 101. Yeah. So you still had eight to go yeah. in two days. Yeah, so it would have been a painful. Was it sauna? Did you use hot towels? Or uh, how did you go? The yeah, bath, the hot bath. bath yeah, we we, always, we got like oh, we have to get a new one now. We uh, <laughs> accidentally popped one of the rings. We got an inflatable <laughs> bath. Inflatable so bath. So we, yeah, we've used it for a few, we used it for the last uh, the eternal. Um, how do you explain match. that as you're going through the airport? Uh, sorry, um, we just noticed some new bags. Uh, inflatable. There's some inflatable products in there. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, well, like, oh, the, uh, like the hotel cleaners probably thought it was a bit weird. But, yeah, um, yeah no, nah, we, uh, yeah, inflatable bath, and, um, but we like popped one of the, um, like, it's got like three rings, and it's like, it popped the middle one, popped it, was like, so oh, it wasn't no. fully inflating. And, uh, um, but yeah, we got, we got through. Uh, it wasn't actually too bad of a cut, like, to be okay. honest. It was, um, yeah, the numbers are quite. Daunting, but uh, it was, um, yeah, we did it quite comfortably. So uh, yeah, that was good, good news and good signs. But um, obviously, yeah, it still is obviously a taxing, taxing thing on your body. So yeah, uh, yeah, it was, um, And how do you how do you feel in that last twenty four hours in the lead up to the way in board? Yeah, it's just just flat out board. Like yeah. you just, it's more like you just you're battling time. Really, it's just you're like yeah, just you know, you just want to get it done. Like because uh, I made. Uh, wait about midday on the Thursday. Oh, uh, oh and the weigh-ins were at Thursday night, like five o'clock. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, it was just like longest five hours ever. Just like, yeah, just on wait, but it was just like just bored. You're like, mm, yeah. I'm ready. Like, yeah, a little well, bit, what now? Little bit hungry and thirsty. Like, but, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and, um, and so then weighed in at eighty three. Uh, no, uh, 93, 93 yeah. sorry. And and, uh, and and what did you weigh when you walked into the cage? Uh, about 104. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. What was the first thing you weighed? What was the first thing you went for? Um, Have you got a like a particular go-to? Prosciutto. Prosciutto. Oh, yeah. I, was, I saw you at the last weigh-ins at yeah. DFC getting into uh, – I thought, he's, he's brought his own. He's yeah. ready to go. He's yeah. A, <laughs> yeah, I went to the, uh, so what, why prosciutto? Was uh, is uh, it just, just a yeah. favourite, like uh, taste wise, or salt? Like, like, yeah, the salty meat, like yeah, yeah. Um, delicious anyway. But uh, yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> good, good bit of like the salt and bit so of, for bit of five hours you were sitting there just. Mm. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. We, got, we even got the like expensive one from the deli section uh, so awesome wow. little nice. treat uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we get the top shelf one thanks <laughs> <laughs> well, that was little treats for making weight and yeah. so uh, so the prosciutto do you, do, you, do you like get into like a big pasta or what, what is um, there a, much of a 
No, like obviously, uh, especially I feel like a bit of a bigger cut, obviously, just because obviously just the nature of uh, the variables of, uh, you know, a late, a late call up, sort of in holiday, pretty much in holiday <laughs> mode. So, um, yeah, obviously try to, obviously like at that point in like camp, I would be a lot lighter, but mm. just because of um, yeah, the way it all sort of went down, uh, yeah, obviously I had to do a bigger, bigger like dehydration um, and water cut. So, yeah. Um, just got to like a lot of fluids first, and like just trying to get your body back to digestive, like Efficiency. digesting problem uh, yeah. properly. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of lot of liquids mainly um, initially, and yeah, so you, know, you as much as you're hungry, like it's, it's like hard to stomach food. Like you got to sort of take your time and take it slow, and mm. um, obviously like yeah, had some like those like cheese and bacon rolls as well. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> as something because it's just like yeah. Like white carbs are, yeah, uh, good, good uh, for the like first source of uh, initial intake as well. Oh right, um, yeah. But had a nice uh, wagyu steak that night too, cooked by uh, cooked by uh, the striking coach Dimitri. Ah, so that yep. was that was lovely. So it was like yeah, <laughs> even I was eating it very slow. It was so delicious, but I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> just need a minute to finish this. Like. <laughs> Just cut it, cu- just cut it into strips, and just like one strip at a time, and just let it digest and let the body uh, soak it in. Yeah, but as you, as uh, well, we, as we just sort of watched them, um, you know, like yeah, obviously, like, you know, those first few hours after are a bit sucky, but mm. you know, you come back you, uh, the next night, you're good as gold, like ready, you ready to, uh, good as gold, <laughs> <laughs> ready, ready to roll, so. Yeah, so so uh, had you previously fought uh, on uh, at an XFC event, or is no, this no, so, so first, just stormed yeah. in, took their belt, and went home? Yeah, yeah, right. Flying, <laughs> fuck shit up, and yeah, I'm sure. a champion. Like. Yeah, that's right. Well, yeah, absolutely. And stepping in against uh, Dan St- Stavely, was it Stavely? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, who the was, danger? That's right. He was mm. the danger, but unfortunately, the danger was not uh, relevant in that <laughs> night. But uh, he, he put up a valiant effort of the fight. We just watched it then. So he moved up. He's a middleweight champion currently yeah, as yeah. X- XFC and moved up to try to get the double so champ status. Was it a, a vacant? It was a vacant belt. Uh, so like uh, the the number one guy that's uh, ranked on topology, uh, um, the Orion. Like uh, he's so he is like his he's the light heavyweight champion. But I think because he's like uh, doing other commitments and stuff, so sort of uh-huh. it's sort of like uh, I don't think it's vacant. It's sort of more like just like a. Interim? Yeah, yeah, okay. just because obviously he's doing other things and stuff. Right. So they, uh, yeah, made the interim, and so yeah, yeah, eventually next year at some point, I'm sure we'll run into each other and yeah, yeah, yeah get the unify, and that'll, that'll yeah. be a really good fight. I think, uh, mm. think stylistically, we're gonna yeah put on put on a good show. So mm, absolutely, yeah. So you stepped into the fight. It was a five round uh, title fight, three minute rounds. Uh, in a foreign territory up in Brisbane, yeah. and the XFC promotion, you're stepping up against an opponent of weighing in at 199 centimeters, uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> as, as uh, said by the announcer there. But uh, he was uh, quite a tall opponent. Um, I said originally he was from Adelaide as well, but uh, it was an excellent performance by yourself. Um, you looked very calm throughout the fight. It looked like you conserved your energy quite well and you picked your shots everything you seemed to throw landed every time he threw you threw straight back and it was a lot of counter punching he was moving forwards a lot trying to use his range and distance but uh to uh, he he and your credit every time he sort of threw anything that there was a, a jab coming straight back at his mm. face so yeah and uh I broke his foot early in the in the fight i, I believe yeah so. i think uh, in the first round um yeah just checked one of his kicks mm. and yeah yeah um yeah, not sure if he he knew in the moment that mm. happened, but um, obviously you know you, you probably don't really know in the in the moment because you just like you just know like oh that that hurt you know you yeah. know it's not fun. It's like when I like when I broke my hand at training, like I could still move it, I could still grip, I could still do everything with it, but I was just like oh it just doesn't feel right. Like yeah. mm. it's a little bit tender, but you know you could still you know use it. It's just, uh, especially with all the adrenaline's pumping mm. uh, in a fight, so uh, you know I don't I don't think he was aware of it in the mm. fight, but um, obviously he became aware of it by yeah. the end of it. Well, you could see that you were uh, piecing up his legs with a lot of heavy inside leg kicks, switching into mm. the outside. He was switching stances constantly. I think trying to find a happy medium, <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah you, those uh, those heavy kicks uh, definitely paid dividends later in the fight. He did look like he was getting more tired. 
as you went on and you were able to stay heavy when it did go grappling and yeah, it did a fantastic performance and come away with the unanimous victory. So mm, well yeah. done. Yeah, it was a well executed game plan. Um yeah, put together by the, the coaches. Um, yeah, just yeah, chop chop the legs down, you know. It'd be hundred and ninety nine centimetres, but you know, chop a few inches off the legs, you know, <laughs> drop them down a little bit. Uh but yeah, so that you, worked you were, really well. You were mentioning before that uh, you were able to uh, glean a bit of strategy from seeing some of the, the previous fights that were on the on, on YouTube, and the, but the as the fight drew closer, those videos had disappeared. And <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah, it's, 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 uh, <laughs> it is, yeah, it's uh, it's funny that um, <laughs> so, yeah, it was uh, we'd already we'd right, already right, seen already done Russian, your homework. Russian bots, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'd already uh, seen everything we needed to see anyway. But uh, yeah, it was. Uh, it was a little bit. I just thought it was a bit humorous that they uh, went went missing, um, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, you know, like yeah, it's, it, you don't take it too much away from a lot of what you see. Like you know, it's always going to be a new new fight every time. Like um, you know, I, I hope everyone's watching that last fight and thinking they got a game plan to beat me because it ain't, ain't going to be the same again. You know, so yep. um, yeah, you're in your own foolish minds if you are. Uh, Think yeah, off that footage, you're like, oh yeah, I got a chance against this guy. I was like, mm-hmm. that's that's cool, bro. Like yeah, yeah, well, like let's yeah, let's throw it down. You'll, you'll see, it's just it's not going to be the same fight every time. So yeah, um, yeah but so were you able to work out like technically where you were going to be, uh, where 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 your where the window to victory was, perhaps? Yeah, yeah, obviously, uh, yeah, just yeah, if we've just yeah, chopping those legs and yeah. straight punches. Um, you know, didn't throw any too. Two wild shots and uh, yeah, just obviously as you saw, like it, yeah, obviously the legs got pretty battered. Uh, um, yeah, like the the leg kicks did their job, um, mm-hmm. made him compromised. Yeah, uh, early on and obviously had to battle through that for the whole five rounds. Uh, and then yeah, obviously also did a decent number of uh damage to the face. You know, lots of straight shots. Um, landing there as well, so uh, a lot of a lot of hammer punches as well yeah. that, 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 that you could hear. I've been practicing those in training. Uh, <laughs> Who have you been practicing them on? Uh, the, um, on, the ho- on the hog. Uh, oh. on, <laughs> yeah, on, 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 on the, the hog. On dessert. <laughs> yeah, now um, he's recently been upgraded, from what I understand. Too, yeah, he so used to be piglet. Now he's the hog. Now oh. he's the, so uh, a, a great victory as well at the element fight yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Performance of the night. Yeah, uh, they, uh, yeah. Yep. Real estate, bloody big check. Yeah, exactly. I'm still, I'm still waiting for one of those. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be one somewhere around here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the whole stack uh, of them out the back. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, um, I, yeah, I did that in, with him in training uh, quite a bit. So it was, um, I guess, yeah, it was like you, you, what you practice and drill sort of coming to life. It was, um, you know, because it's, it's a little... It's a little bit bullshit, but you know, if it works, it works. Uh, yeah, it looks good as for the uh, eyes of the judges as well. Like you know, in that position in the yeah, fifth round. I know? mean, like yeah, you could see the the damage they were taking. Mm. Like you could hear it, and uh, you could see that you know there was a big welt coming coming through on the ribs. You know, they were, uh, you know, they definitely add up. So yeah, I was used to being yeah pressed up against the cage and just hit, hitting them a lot. So mm. um, and doing yeah a bit of bit of knee work as well in those clinches. So. Yeah, like it all it all came together quite well. That's pretty much how we figured the fight would go. Mm-hmm. Obviously, a uh, little bit of controversy. Thought I got to finish at the end of the third. There, you know, maybe yeah. a few more seconds could have been pretty much called. But um, the mouth guard was out. Yeah, you know, and it looked like it looked like the ref had jumped. In. If you didn't know it was the end of the round, mm. you would have assumed that that was it was over. Yeah, yeah. it was a bit of a bit of a like a buzzer beater situation. But um, mm. yeah, you know, I, yeah, it is what it is, and I'm happy to go five rounds and. You know, just show that I can on obviously such short notice. Um, How did you feel in that moment? Did you have like a big high, like you thought you'd won, yeah. and then you had to go down yeah, and go, so oh that, no, it's still going? So that, yeah, that's a um, yeah, I think uh, a bit of a yeah, a tough feat as well. Like, cause yeah, obviously pretty much yeah, if that like that those like split second, you think oh, like it's all over, but mm. um, yeah, and then realizing it's not, so you do have a little bit of a release and mm, yep. all the emotions, and then uh, sort of like, oh, nah, it's not over. We're really, gonna get back to it. Oh, so. Damn it! Yeah, <laughs> still <laughs> going. Okay, still going. But um, obviously, yeah, you know, it's a few more seconds. That was well and truly in the books. Um, well, yeah. look, we we just watched the fight, and uh, it, it would seem that you you looked really comfortable throughout the fight. If anything, you looked like you were the 
the current champion defending for maybe the fifth or sixth time and this was just business and uh, uh, your opponent was hyped up and 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 uh, uh, didn't seem loose didn't seem as confident uh, in in that position and uh, you seemed loose and and ready to go and uh, um, the, the, there wasn't the same uh, emotion being displayed it was more yep yeah, I'm here I'm here to get your belt uh, very matter of factly and is that how it felt to you yeah uh, that's my like standard approach to fighting I think I mean everyone's got their their different approaches and you know what works for you yeah. what works for you that's cool but um yeah, I, just, I find it just I find it humorous and just funny when people are like, um, you know, trying to do intense stare downs and <laughs> trying to mean mug and you're just like, that's cool. We're like, we're, we're gonna we're, fight we're anyway. About to fight. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, I just think it's, I think it's just unnecessary energy that you're expending. Like, um, yeah, just just seems uh, seems unnecessary. I just find it. All have, you, have you ever tried to be hyped up? Have you ever tried to get really serious? <laughs> Nah, it's like that's done do it for me. <laughs> even like, even like playing grid on, like I'll put my headphones on and just you know listen to, um, listen to like the music and that pumps me up and stuff. But like, nah, like I don't, yeah, like I don't need to go overboard. Like, people, like back in the day with the grid on, like people are you know like banging each other's helmets against each other. Like, yeah, some yeah. people get into that. Like, yeah, that's cool for some people. I was like, ah, I uh, don't. Doesn't do anything for me. I like my head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> getting slapped around like the uh, like Dan was before. Yeah, the yeah like, like, like play, it was play almost or something like yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just um, nah, yeah, it just yeah, it doesn't do anything for me, and I just I just find it I just find it all funny. Like, well, you know, if that works for you, but. Yeah, I know. For me, I just find it funny. Mm. <laughs> you think R- Ronda Rousey was probably the the one who would do that the most in mm. terms of the mean mugging? Like she would, from the very second that she was walking to the cage, very you intent wish walk. real angry, yeah. Yeah. you know, and uh, that real, and then you know, constantly pumping herself up like she was going. It's like wow. I mean, you know, what works for you, what works yeah. for you. But yeah. Uh, yeah, it is interesting to see the different styles and attitude. Yeah, no, nah, I'm just yeah, cool and calm. Uh, yeah. Loose. Save your energy. Yeah. Yeah. Ready to go. Yeah. Do you remember when the, was it Anthony Joshua? Um, he said his costume was too heavy when he walked out to fight. Was it Anthony Joshua? Oh, no, it was um, uh, Tyson Fury. Oh, yeah. um, Deontay White. Deontay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he his his got, robe was too, too heavy. He, he was struggling. This, he wore this silly, like, I don't know, crazy outfit. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like to the cage, or to the, to the ring. And then uh, lost the fight. And afterwards, he was like, yeah, my costume, my costume. It, was, it was way too heavy. I yeah. gassed myself walking to the ring. <laughs> it's yeah, like, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Whether there's any truth to it or not, you're just like, well, that's your decision. That's you've, right. you've chose to do this. So, that's uh, right. Yeah, you know, you got to... Um, yeah, and have, you, have you thought of any costumes yourself into the future? It's something that <laughs> something really heavy, like a big robe or something. Uh, now you're the champion. Maybe is there any maybe more like regalia? A, I've seen maybe like a red crop top, for like Pooh Bear. I like it. Oh yeah, yeah, I like it. Um, but yeah, nah, nah. nah. So, <laughs> uh, keep the uh, cool, calm, and collected. Did you get to choose the walkout song? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what song do you normally go with? Uh, I get I get a new one every time. Oh, do you really? Yeah. That's interesting. What what's the psychology there? What's um, the yeah, so some people obviously have the same one and they're just yeah, really yeah. really like stuck on it. Like um I said once again, if that works for you, that's that's cool. But um Yeah. Yeah, I like uh I, I try to pick ones like that uh sort of speak to me like lyrically and um you know, and sort of where I'm at with my story because you know, this is just mm. part of the journey and uh yeah, I just yeah, ones where I sort of where I feel like I'm at. Normally, I have like obviously the whole camp to pick a song, and it normally takes me pretty much all camp to <laughs> find that song that like I. I yeah, so you really use the camp out. to kind of flesh that out and to feel yeah, it out and to um, think about. But then I'll see like this one, like yeah, twelve days notice. I was like, ah, shit, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, gotta think about what song I want. Like. <laughs> um, so yeah. What about uh, what a Damien Fowler at jukeboxes around the <laughs> suburbs? Oh no, 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 no it's raining, man. <laughs> no. the, the best best story in terms of fight walkout songs. Um, Rory McDonald was fighting in the UFC, and uh, they, the UFC will text you or, or so whoever's in charge of putting the music out will send you a message. Which song do you want for your entrance? And he had changed his phone number, and whoever got his <laughs> old phone oh, number, yeah, I heard about this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kept making these like ridiculous songs <laughs> and like six songs in a row. So he comes out to like like a, like a virgin. 
<laughs> like it's raining, man, or like it's just you know, Rory just doesn't yeah. care. Like he's a real stoic guy. Yeah. But he just walked out no matter what. Didn't give it. And eventually, like the the guy doing the song said had. Takes like the correct. You got the new number. Okay, great. Text. And he's like, oh, I, what is <laughs> that? What? Must be good. Why? He didn't question it the second time. Didn't know why his <laughs> random songs were playing? Speaking <laughs> of good walkout songs, uh, <laughs> Sweet Caroline. Yeah, yeah. The, oh, that, the, that, the dessert. The that was um. Yeah, who, that was who, who was that for? Uh, the hog. Oh, it was. Yeah, yeah right. Awesome. Yeah, yeah the, the, the room erupted. Yeah, people. It was, fucking, it was like a big sing along. Well, I, I think he. I think he had a good hundred, hundred fifty people there for him as well. Yeah, so, that might have uh, helped. It, yeah, it definitely <laughs> helped. Um, yeah, no, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it was. Uh, it was sweet, could, Caroline, and awesome. it, yeah, yeah, it was. It yeah. was just unbelievable. Not, not what you think yeah. would be a great. Is, has that always been his walkout song, or uh, was that, that it was just sort of like? I think it is now. If yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, mate. Just, it's it just signature. came about. Like, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, Were you part of that decision making process? Uh, potentially. Like, As you're oh, looking oh, at jukeboxes, we're, we're trying on, to work out the songs. <laughs> Sweet Caroline, all right, pig, piglet. I'll keep that one. Yeah, yeah. That was, uh, yeah, we were like on the, like on Spotify at the gym and just like on random, just playing playing just <laughs> playing different songs and like yeah, picking a few like doozies out and then like um, yeah, like. I think we put this on one and it was like, who's yeah, vibing it. So it was, uh, that was it. Yeah. yeah, I think, yeah, I think you liked it and yeah. chose it. And no, nah, it was good. You know, it's, uh, it's a classic. It was a classic. It was a, a crowd pleaser. <laughs> it, crowd it, pleaser. Yeah. There are some amazing walkouts that have happened and it really does set the tone. And, and if you get a good song and the audience really responds, you can yeah. feel that swell and that energy sort of mm. move forward. Yeah. It's an amazing experience. Uh, I was in uh, Vegas and uh, Akiyama um, came out to the song and it's a slow, like not an opera song, but it was a, it's, if I put it on, you'd, you'd know it. There's no sort of words or whatever, but it's a real slow build, like this um, orchestral kind of thing. And he walked out with all of his students and they were all in, you know, uh, geese and he bent down, he bowed and then it was like uh, this... Uh, like a ritual, was, like a ceremony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And then Chris Lieben comes out to Metallica and it was like <laughs> the complete opposite, you know, but it was so cool. It was, yeah, it was fantastic. Mm. Who won that fight? Uh, it was Chris Lieben. <sighs> yeah. yeah. By triangle in the third round and he didn't have the triangle completely locked in. And he had like his toes were like basically, uh, yeah, yeah. I think Akiyama was more gassed than anything, but uh, yeah, good fight. But uh, yeah, that was the uh, UFC 116 in uh, Las Vegas headlining event. Brock Lesnar versus Shane oh, Carwin. Wow. I was there for my honeymoon. I, I watched that fight uh, on on Facebook yesterday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it just popped up in my feed. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah, great fight. What yeah. a comeback from Lesnar in the second yeah. round there. Incredible. Yeah, I was probably the only guy going for him in the building, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a good experience for sure. So. And, and do you have any favourites, UFC favourites, or uh, people that you're following at the moment, or do you just see uh, they, there's just uh, Upcoming opponents, um, yeah, there's yeah, there's a couple. Um, it's more like more actually like the the like sort of the small small lighter guys. I actually uh, yeah, sort of follow the most. Um, like sort of a lot from the lightweight division, like yeah, Poirier and Chandler and mm-hmm. um, guys like that. Um, yeah, I think that's just but yeah, sort of sort of the uh, biggest division at the moment I think mm. it's sort of yeah, just, uh, a lot of talent yeah lo- lots going on in that division what um, do you think of their fight did you think Chandler was being dirty oh it's uh, uh it's just <laughs> yeah it's a, <laughs> you don't want to say but this, yes he was he had his hands in Dustin's mouth trying to pull his head up <laughs> yeah, to try yeah, to get yeah, his yeah, arms yeah, 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 it happens it's fish hook um but yeah it's uh yeah, no, it's a uh, it's a fun division. I was disappointed that the uh, the Islam Levera fight though that was right disappointing, yeah. especially like waiting up so late for that one. Or like, well, a lot of people would have woke up early. I just trooped through the night to watch <laughs> that one, and yeah. yeah, that was was that the the split draw or, or was no, this no, this is a lightweight one? This is when you're talking. Yeah, about. this was the uh, Islam. Oh right, yeah, Mac- 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 yeah. yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that was just. Yeah, <laughs> just, they just came out of nowhere, and I don't think it was, like I don't know. It just it just happened really quick. Like obviously, mm. yeah, like credit to him, but it was just like ah, like well, would have thought he like would have put up a bit more of a fight, like just for you because you stayed <laughs> up all night. If <laughs> anything right. else, that's right. Yeah, um, there's the least he could do. But, yeah. Um, yeah. I remember watching the card they had here in Adelaide, and Mark Hunt was fighting Stepe mm. Miocic, and uh, Stepe just took. Um, 
Mark Hunt down like <laughs> all four rounds, five rounds, and he was just you know ground and pounding. I think he landed the most strikes ever in a fight. Uh, he you know because Mark Hunt is made of concrete and <laughs> he just wouldn't wouldn't give Thumbs up. up. <laughs> That's right. And uh, I think it was like midway through the fourth round. There was a guy standing in the crowd about ten meters from me, and he was screaming at Mark to get up the whole time. <laughs> just get up, get up, get up. And then like by the time we got to the fifth round, it was get up. I've got money on this. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Classic. Casual. <laughs> yes, it's <laughs> great advice, isn't it? Get yeah. up! Oh, oh, is that what I was supposed to be doing? <laughs> right? Damn. Thank you, random person in the crowd. <laughs> so good. I'll, I will protect your bet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got money? Oh, sorry. Uh, Hang on. Let us fight harder. <laughs> yeah, can we swap positions? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so did you have any money on yourself? Uh, are uh, you allowed to bet on yourself? I don't know uh, if athletes are allowed to. You can bet on yourself, but can, um, you can or you can't. Nah, you can't. You can't. Oh. A, few, a few of the guys from the gym tried to put money, but like they, it wasn't open to SA. Betting, oh, like really? Had to be in Queensland to bet on it. Oh, but um, I thought it was funny because, like, I was like, for amateurs, like, I mean, like, I've got, I've got pride, but I mean, you know, it's it's amateurs as well, like, you know. If, Someone could easily just take a dive, and mm. I yeah. mean, I know that it would probably look suspicious, and they'd be like, "Oh, why is ten thousand dollars on?" <laughs> but you know, Last it's minute. like one, one bet from uh, Estevez. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's like uh, you know, it just seems it seems a bit it seems a bit like uh, it's a bit strange. But um, yeah. yeah, no, apparently I was I was paying a dollar eighty, and uh, one of the guys uh, from ATT who like obviously they had a we we're like obviously all staying at the same sort of like motel. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, he laughed at the fight. He's like, "Hey, man, I want money. I put money on you." Like, <laughs> oh, nice. Like, oh, that's a nice feeling. Like, you know, yeah. like, thanks for backing me. Like, it's better yeah, than I lost money because yeah. you lost. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. Get up. Yeah. Get up. <laughs> yeah. He's, like, he's like, "Do you want half?" I was like, "Nah." So, so do you want, half? you want half? Really? Yes. Yeah. I want all of it. Uh, Give it to me now. Ask how much you put on. Like, yeah. If you put on ten bucks, you have it. But if you put on a thousand, well, maybe. Well, hey, I, 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 I did that. the work here. But um, yeah, no, it was um. Yeah, no, it was uh, obviously yeah, always good to having that um, support from back home. Then obviously even interstate, like having other the other uh, other camps, and you know, um, especially obviously when you're in the same corner with other interstate clubs and mm. stuff. Uh, yeah, like obviously you sort of you sort of for that night group together. Yeah, yeah. you know, you're like <laughs> yeah, we're, we're team blue corner or yep. team red corner. Um, yeah, no, I actually had a few uh, chants from the crowd like on the night, which was. Like odd, but it was nice. But it was just very odd. You're like, uh, I'm in hostile territory. Uh, yeah. What, what were they yelling? Were they yelling yeah. Pooh Bear? Yeah, just chanting yeah. Pooh Bear. Yeah, yeah like, really. That yeah, that was the chant. Yeah, it was, a, it was a good half a dozen, dozen or so. Like, it was yeah. awesome. Um, so yeah, it was a shock, but it was like, I'll, I'll take it. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, yeah, like it was a pleasant surprise. Yeah. Like, so I don't. I actually don't like. I sort of rather just. I'd rather. The, I'd rather be the underdog and the booze and. <laughs> The heel, throw, yeah. throw, 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 throw up the shush later, but you know, yeah. Um, nah, the nah, the crowd was was good, so um, yeah, can't complain too so much there. How many uh, how many belts are you able to chase in Australia? Uh, all, all of them. them. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how uh, numerically how many that is? Um, I don't know, probably. I mean, there's a good twenty odd promotions getting around at, yeah. at least. So it, it is it, I mean if you know, if they're willing to put one on, like uh sure. obviously, you know, the plan for uh, the DFC uh strap uh in February for the Apex Sports Fest. So yeah. uh then uh, at the Nord Oval on the twenty fifth of February. Yeah. Yeah. Get your tickets now. Little Christmas presents. Yeah, think outside the octagon. Ah, oh, that's cool. Uh, that's a good uh, slogan. Yeah. I, 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 I didn't come up with it. That was all. That was Ike uh, and or, uh, or Greg or <laughs> someone. Someone in the DFC team thought of that one. That was. It was a good one. I liked it. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. So uh, yeah, you can get tickets now. Um, See the see the Pooh Bear in action, trying to get a second belt, and uh, yeah, We've got opponent set for that one. Uh, not just yet, but we think we're closing in on one very shortly. So, cool. Um, mm. Yeah, hopefully, Ooh, uh, okay. hopefully get sorted. We're not quite ready for an exclusive on the Daily Combat podcast <laughs> yeah. on that one, but we're hopefully edging. before Christmas that'll be a nice present. Yeah, myself, just uh, having that locked in. But um, I'm sure we'll find someone. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, is it, that, is it a exciting. struggle to find fighters of the caliber? Now, are you gonna are you gonna start getting to that um, point? I think uh, I think it was like sort of the opposite. Now I think it's um, 
people are starting to notice. And now avoid, it's like, people, avoid. Yeah. I don't want to play <laughs> that guy. Uh, yeah, people are starting <laughs> to take notice. And then I was like, I think it's going to be like the opposite. I think they're going to be like, like I said, I think they're going to like watch footage and just be like, oh, he's not that great. I, c- I can take that guy. And it's just like, well, that's okay. Come find out, you know. So, Well, if they, they listen to the commentary of uh, your last fight, they'd probably think you're an easy win. So, <laughs> <laughs> the imaginary uppercuts. Yeah, and, was, uh, um, yeah I got, got hit with a... Spinning uh, wheel kick. I think. Yeah. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of imaginary shots landing. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, so, uh, yeah, I, it's, I hope that goes in my favour. They um, think that... Uh, it's going to be, yeah, an easy day at the office and then they can come find out how yeah. rough it is. So, Are, are there many uh, guys in your division at the moment that are openly putting themselves out there like you are and just saying, you know, I'm here, I'm ready, I'm ready when you are? Uh, none that I've heard of, but, uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I hope I hope there is. Because like, so, there'd be a lot of guys out there that have got a belt that, you know, pr- pretty, they like their belt. They don't, don't, want, they don't, don't want have a belt. They don't want to compromise. <laughs> I do have a belt. <laughs> <laughs> I've done not much we to win. We can have it. a belt off later. <laughs> <laughs> well, so that sounds like, oh, hey, oh, hey. No, that's you got to be the sound bite I'm leaving yeah. with. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, we, you know, um, my, my belt's not as nice as yours and does not have any fur on the inside either. So, that's uh, nice. Yeah. I, mean, I always just, like, two kilos yeah. of weight, two kilos of two, gold. Two kilos, yeah, it's pretty yeah, substantial. Yeah. So you can... Train with that. <laughs> yes. Just on crunches with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hitting the bag. Have you have you spent any time apart from the belt since winning? Uh, not not too much. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it pretty uh, pretty close. And you did you walked in here, so presumably you're walking past members of the public with this over your shoulder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah I was like, it was like a little bit awkward, like yeah, walking through the CBD and just like you know, people are looking. At me, like, <laughs> He's this bloke. He's this guy. He's this guy. I think he is. Yeah. I think I'm the champion. Yeah, oh, he's the no, champion. champion. Oh, well, you maybe I won't. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, yeah, it's um, yeah, no, it's a nice looking belt, and I'll see. Looking to add to the collection. Uh, we'll see. It was planning. Always planning strap season twenty three, but uh, yeah. I'll see. Christmas came early, and uh, hey, yeah, Santa brought Pooh Bear home a gift. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Very happy. Very happy with it. Um, so the way they work with the XFC is. You get to keep this belt forever, and yeah. then each champion gets a new belt. Yeah, like a yeah. Grow. Yeah. For us, like the old how it was in the olden days for UFC, but then they realized, obviously, you know, because the UFC ones are obviously quite a little bit more expensive. Uh, yeah. So then, obviously, I think they, yeah, they went to the rubies for defenses because they were just like, oh, this is getting expensive. Yeah. <laughs> like, let's we got to cut costs somewhere. And, uh, <laughs> we'll give you a little um, ruby instead yeah. of an entirely new belt. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, obviously, at this yeah this level, they are. Yeah, just you just get a new nice. new belt, so yeah, yeah you always you always keep that one. But um, I just think it's funny when you see a boxer who's won like you know three hundred belts in seventy different weight divisions, one pound apart, yeah. and he stands there with like posing, and they're strapped all up and down his yeah. arm, around his head, over his legs. Like. Yeah, I've seen that. It's very um, yeah, very different weight classes and sports. So. Right. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh. But yeah, no, I look definitely looking to uh, add to the add to trophy it. cabinet and uh, yeah, get another one at DFC after DFC. Uh, you know, I'm gonna have the two straps over the shoulders. I'll uh, look to get a third one around the waist. So yeah, I'll see. Once I might have to put another Instagram post, post out, out and there. Just, you know, whatever promotions. Yeah, like put a put a strap on the line. Let's get it. So uh, who is the number one guy in, in division that you were talking about earlier? That that, that was. Um, you, you, similar build that you wanted to challenge. Ah, uh, the Orion, Orion. Right. Yeah. So he's he, he, yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he, he competes on the XFC. Right. Um. Yeah, mainly, I believe. What's what's his name? Sorry. Uh, Orion. Oh, uh, that's Orion. his first name. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah. Yeah. Well, uh, okay. It's a cool name. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. So, um, <laughs> how do you compete against that when your name's Damien? Yeah. I mean, that's right. Orion. Orion and Damien. Yeah. Is, and, and apparently, you look very similar. Is that correct? Um, you with a got uh, a better beard. I think he's the Wish version. <laughs> oh, okay. A yeah, uh, little bit shorter. Little, yeah. Right. Not, not as not as thick as me. Not as sexy. Right. Not, as, right. not as good looking beard. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, my not hair's as many better. Belts. My hair's luscious. Yeah. 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 Wish version of me, pretty much. <laughs> and so. Uh, he would be noticing big time that because if you've gone in and, and won basically the same belt and it's like, well, hey, it, 
we need to unify these belts now. Yeah. And especially if you get a, another belt over at DFC, it may be uh, no no choice but to take that fight. So. Yeah, I think I think it's mm. inevitable that's going to happen next year sometime. Um, like I said, it's going to be an exciting fight. I think stylistically we're going to put on a pretty good show. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to that matchup. Um, yeah, I assume that probably won't happen until, you know. Uh, well, I think they announced their show was March 11th, but obviously, March. you know, I'm fighting two weeks before, so yeah. it's a bit uh, bit of a compromise. Um, and you'd want to, uh, for a fight like that, you want a bit of build-up to it as well. Yeah, and obviously, you know, uh, you know, even even if we get a first-round finish in the next one, like, uh, it's, you know, you still just have that bigger dump, like, big adrenaline dump, and, mm-hmm. um, you know, yeah, like, your, your, your body still just is tired, and from the camp more so than anything, even if you come out and <coughs> from the fight, you're, you know, from this, the whole eight-week camp, you're, um, yeah, you, you know, body's gone through the ringer, so... Um, yeah, obviously not enough time, sort of. So I assume they'll do another one later in the year. So mm-hmm. probably in the second half of the year, that that fight will probably happen. But um, yeah, uh, we got a uh, well, ha- actually had another offer. So yeah, I'll see. They took note from the last fight. Yeah, had an, had another offer. Oh, since since you've won the belt. Yeah, only like yesterday or the day before, had oh. another offer for um, uh, from Eternal for the uh. The February card uh, oh. the night before the UFC. Oh, um, so you know, probably arguably going to be the biggest card in MMA history in Australian MMA history. So, um, mm. unfortunately, but fortunately, I have to I decline that one because uh, obviously you got my baby baby girl due on February seventh. Oh. So, congratulations. Uh, whether it comes on time or a little bit late, uh, mm. February eleventh is a little bit too close. <laughs> Might have some distractions in the cage. Like, yeah. oh, hang on a minute, I've got to go. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's already um already you know yeah. If it was a second kid, yeah, no worries. Yeah. You know. yeah. <laughs> so I'm um, just yeah. Unfortunately, uh, the timing for that um. You know, obviously, can yeah. you push that back? At all? Yeah, <laughs> well, I, I was like, oh, can we can we induce early? Or uh, like, <laughs> um, no, uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah. You know, obviously, of course, I want to be there for the birth of my firstborn. So, um, mm. you know, uh, yeah, like it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a sacrifice that's worth it. But obviously, you know, it's just yeah, it's just timing in life. So, <laughs> unfortunately, you know, sort of had the and it was a good it was a good offer. I think it was going to be a good match up. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, just have to. Decline that one for now, and uh, and that was also for a belt. Ah, uh, no, that was just that was just a um, just just, just a, a match up, just a just a regular bout. Um, but if it was for a belt, was, you would have been there. And <laughs> and oh, yeah, it would have been very hard to say no. <laughs> it would have been very hard. Um, you know, because then it would have been first porn. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, the yeah, second one that's really important. I'll, be, I'll definitely be there. Yes. But, um, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah. Obviously, you know, just yeah, the lead up for that weekend for obviously UFC in Australia and. Yeah, over in Perth. It'll, yeah, we'll see. It's going to be a spectacular night. I like can uh, yeah, I assume so. Mm. Um, yeah, unfortunately not to take part in it, but um, yeah, I'll see. Yeah, next time it'll be just yeah. So so Element's doing a a night on the Saturday night, and then UFC's doing Sunday morning. Uh Eternal, Eternal. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eternal. A lot, a lot of ease. <laughs> Saturday night, and then uh, fr- Sunday morning would be UFC. Uh, because of the time difference that they want to hit that peak Saturday night market. Yeah, yeah, I believe so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Confident on something that answer. Because like like Eternal have got an arrangement with UFC, haven't yeah, they? So yeah. like a feeder type yeah. of organisation. Yeah, yeah. So it's been sort of like yeah, it is a it is a big op- opportunity. Um, unfortunately, passing up. But um, mm. you know, yeah, you know, it's, um, it's, it's, what if it was UFC? Yeah, well, hey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, we don't want to get him in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it's uh, family first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's family your first. Yeah, that's <coughs> right. Let's not play with it's those hypothetical your seat. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, nah, that's, uh, like I said, there's, uh, yeah, that was, uh, but it's just good, obviously, uh, you know, obviously the people are starting to take notice. So, you know, you see, they see the performances and reach out. And, um, yeah, obviously, you know, obviously, Next time, and then obviously the schedule works out. Um, so already with the Feb twenty fifth is already like I'm gonna have like a two week old, and you know like it's already it's already pushing it like <laughs> a, for that one's already um, and obviously that's sort of been in the in the calendar for quite a while now. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, just waiting obviously on their matchup to be locked in, but um, yeah, that's been in the calendar for quite some time now. So it's uh, yeah, just uh, yeah, just the waiting game. Mm-hmm. See uh, yeah when the baby comes, and then. Yeah, obviously be shooting off a couple of weeks later, go win a second strap and then um 
yeah, it'll obviously it'll be work. But like uh, even for this one, obviously, uh, yeah, obviously twelve days notice. And when I told the partner, it was because uh, we had our, we had our baby shower on the Sunday. I fought <laughs> on the Friday night. <laughs> So, yeah, she wasn't happy about that. Like, <laughs> it's the baby shower weekend and, uh, um, yeah, you know, all, uh, close family and friends coming for doing a big barbecue and lots to organise and she pretty much took care of all of that. And, yeah. Um, I was just off in Brisbane. Uh, well, I wasn't really living it up, obviously. I was cutting a lot of weight. <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm in a different state and about to, about to fight and go through all that. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, I... Push, push my luck sometimes. <laughs> yeah, well, we're yeah. really, we're really lucky to have people in our lives that really support us in our endeavours and and uh, you know who, who believe in our mission and what we're doing and mm. and it's uh they're, they're the partners in life for a reason and um and uh, I think um, admirably in your um in your post match um, speech you you thanked her first and foremost yeah. which is great um but you did forget some sponsors you were I lamenting know, before so maybe we can correct that wrong yeah. uh, here and make sure that the sponsors get a shout out. So, yeah. uh, uh, so who are some of those sponsors that are making um, the Pooh Bear Express yeah, possible? Yeah, the uh, Dirty Clean Eats. Uh, Dirty Clean Do Eats. You got the, uh, do you Jamu? Do you Jamu? And for those that don't know what Jamu is and don't know how to do it, what, what, what is Jamu? Jamu is uh, like kombucha, but it doesn't taste like shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's we'll have to get that on hashtag. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it, it, well, it's a it's a very good description, and uh, and so and, w- and where can people get that? Can they get that on the interweb? Uh, yeah, how do they find yeah, that? on the um, find the uh, website on the socials and mm-hmm. um, obviously Instagram and, and that's Facebook. Jam- and uh, Dirty Clean Eats. Dirty Clean Eats. Head yeah. over to that. Um, yeah, local Foodlands. Yeah, local Drakes. Um, and yeah, and Jimmy, that's, that's a that's a local brand, South Australian, owned and operated. You've got uh, a couple of local lads that have got together, created this 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 organic elixir, elixir, yeah. uh, the the fountain of youth, indeed. <laughs> and and uh, uh, and it have, will make you younger, and guarantee. And, <laughs> and 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 have <laughs> bottled it and and. Uh, Makes you a better fighter as well. <laughs> yeah, from what right. I understand, yeah. I yeah. think it's the secret of yeah. Damien's power. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It gets you through the the, the, the championship. You rounds. will also be a champion of the XFC. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's a it's a it's a promise. Of, it's a it's guaranteed it's on guaranteed. the bottle. Consumer and business or your money back. <laughs> yes. Yeah, when, only when you buy ten cartons or more. That's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. And, and use the code word. Yeah. Is, is that yeah. correct? Yeah. Is, yeah. There is a code word. Yeah, code word is Matt's yeah. line. Pooh Bear Ten. Pooh Bear Ten. You can get discounts on the Jemu. Which is Dirty Clean Eats. Uh, you'll find them on Instagram, or give them a quick Google. You can check them out, or head into your local Foodland if you're lucky enough. Uh, uh, roll, roll clean, clean. Yeah, roll, roll clean. clean. Yeah. So uh, I was really fortunate enough to uh, sit next to the guys from Roll Clean the other the other night at the Element Fight Night, and fantastic. How did Again, they smell? They smell nice. And clean. They, they, they smelled um, uh, aromatic and with a hint of peppermint. <laughs> um, so. Um, yeah, I think, um, yeah, nice. yeah. <laughs> um, but they, uh, alarmingly, they did they did present me with some soaps at the end of the night. Nice. I, I, I took it as a hint more. Yeah, than, yeah but, uh, it was at the end of the night. I yeah. Think. yeah. <laughs> Early in the night, they were like, "Yeah, really nice and close." And at the end of the night, they're like, <laughs> edging, edging away. away. Yeah. Yeah. And then, hey, we thought you might like some yeah, soap. Well, and they we just we also yeah. sell soap. Here's yeah. some samples. Yeah. Maybe have, you should try them. They, they didn't hand them to me. They kind of went. <laughs> Just take them, don't, don't stay away from us. Um, but they're, they're lovely, and uh, uh, Kat and, and Matt, yeah, yep, and um, uh, they're coming into the podcast uh, early next year, so uh, stay tuned for those guys. That fantastic story, and again, uh, local people just came up with the idea that the, the Brazilian jiu jitsu uh, oh, practitioners, all, all, oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah themselves, yeah, and yeah. so I kind of really understood the issues of hygiene when you're rolling yeah, with just, people all yeah, the time, covering all the martial arts, you know, all, you know, relevant for all the sports, no. Just not just martial arts, you know, just any other sport, you know, where you're, you're sweating and yeah, you know, just making sure you're announcing, uh, for instance, yeah, yeah, yeah. any of that, yeah. anything where you break a sweat, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, you got to use the um, natural organic uh, ingredients to you know help uh, protect your skin. Yeah, and and that, that's the thing, uh, natural, organic, healthy. It well, 
it, it smells so good, you want to eat it. And yeah, it, it does. And it almost looks tasty. like you should eat it. Yeah, it, does. it looks yeah, very it looks tasty. Like little cake bars. But, I've but been, do not. I've eat been it. told off. Yeah, you can't eat. <laughs> it. You cannot eat it. <laughs> I've been told off multiple times. You can't eat them. <laughs> have, you, have you tried like a little bit just to corner, just to uh, see? I was tempted. I, I tried it for the first time the other day. Not <laughs> eating it. Not eating it. Shower. <laughs> just, just one lick. I yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh, it's soap. So you present it like if you go to a party or something, and how you bring a bring a plate, and they're just like. He's just some soap. Yeah, like, oh. yeah, that's right. I reckon you could drink somebody. Because <laughs> one of them looks like it's got icing. It does. Yeah. 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 Well, it does favorite. have icing? Yeah. It does have icing. It used to until I got to it. <laughs> <laughs> like a Volvo, but right. it's soap. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, <laughs> ice Volvo, I mean, not, not the car. Yes. And uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> What's that? Volvo, I think the biscuit. Volvo. What did I oh, say? Yeah. Volvo. Yeah, he yeah. said Volvo. Yeah. Volvo is the car. Volvo. The Volvo biscuit. is the biscuit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Excellent. Yes. Yeah. Uh, any other sponsors? Yeah, uh, Recover Art Massage. Um, ah. Yeah, Ash. Um, yeah, she's a massage therapist. Um, yeah. Also a, a practitioner, and you know, so just knows the uh, injuries that come and with the sport as, uh, specifically. Um, knows where the aches are and the and tendons. Just, just and like in, obviously general, like for. General massages and all the other sports massages, like um, yeah, like she's yeah, great. Just yeah, keep keeps my body in check. So um, you know, I put my body through through a fair bit, especially in camp. So um, yep. yeah, uh, yeah, definitely knows her stuff. So you always see the all the cracking cupping on my back. Um, yeah, yeah, it's from her. Also, yeah, needling. Um, yeah, lots of you know, does, does it's every, almost does like part everything. of your brand now. You know, when you come out, you got yeah. the cups. And you, oh, it's got eight cups. He's serious tonight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah. Also, yeah, just there. Uh, Great, great at a job like just you know, as um, yes, you know, and, and so you got, you got you got you know you got massage therapists. Then you go to some place at the shopping center. They're not very good. You yeah, know? and then you got a massage therapist who knows what she's doing, and um, you know, always, always still studying and learning, and yeah. Um, and, and sorry, what what's her name? Ash. Ash, and and what's the name of her business? Recover Art Massage. Recover Art Massage. Uh, re- recover Right. Uh, recover Right. Is she massage. based yeah. out of. The gym, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so there's still from two locations. One location is at the uh, at our gym, Element Martial Arts. Mm-hmm. Um, she's there two, three times a week, and then um, uh, the other another location. It's a secret sure. location. The yeah, other secret one. location. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, Jade Monkey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. you'd have to you have to call Ash to find <laughs> out where, where that location is. Yeah, and uh, but it's very secret. And uh, but at Element, so so literally, you can just head into Element and um, yeah. have a roll, have some fun, and uh, get a nice massage at the end of it. Yep, fantastic. And um, anybody else you'd like to mention? Yeah, to, yeah. Uh, Rock, Rocky's tattoo. Ah, um, yep. Uh, see a. Uh, Still, uh, been so busy, obviously, accepting fights. I haven't had the time to uh, <laughs> get in there myself, but um, obviously, yeah, she's doing great work, and um, obviously, yeah, I'll be looking to get some work done from from her very soon. Um, when I uh, when I have a, have a have a proper break yeah. from uh, <laughs> training and competing, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, obviously, you follow her on Instagram, you see see all the great work she's doing. Um, oh, you've got a baby on the way, so you've got a name or two at least put on your forearm yeah. or something. So you tattoo the baby. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we poo bear. Found a bond. And the, uh, the 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 newest uh, big sponsor on board. Big, big sponsor. Hang on. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, American Motors. American Motors. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so uh, yeah, they obviously liked my performance at the last DFC, and well, yeah, we've been in negotiations. And huh. Yeah, there are. Uh, Matt's been negotiating on the phone. Com- coming on board. And, um, Ten yeah, cases of uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those, uh, yeah, clean eats. Clean eats. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to um, yeah, people said people start to take note and to see the potential and yeah. Um, yeah, obviously, yeah, great guys and great cars, awesome cars, awesome cars. And how many free, free, no, free no, cars no have discount, they given you? No discount code. No, for just, that one. no discount code. No poo yeah. You type that in. You don't nah. get a Dodge Ram for like fifty grand or something. Yeah. No, no, nah, oh. not, not quite. Yeah. Oh. oh well. And, um, <laughs> but yeah, obviously, uh, yeah, obviously, uh, it's an awesome warehouse down there. Um, yeah, definitely worth a visit. Even if, even if you can't afford a car, you just, it's still nice to look at them and you play. Like, oh, yeah, it's nice. It's pretty cool, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, it's well, and they're, they're at uh, Grand Junction Road there, um, uh, Wingfield, I believe. Yep. Um, and uh, yeah, great setup, great guys. Yeah. Um, importing some uh, pretty exotic American metal. Yeah. Um, along with uh, you know the very popular. Uh, 
plus sized uh, utes that come out of America, the D- Dodge Rams, mm. and they've got the Hellcats. Yeah, I like the Hellcats. Oh. Oh. Nice. Have they got the Demon? Dodge Demon? Oh, I don't know. They might have won. Wow. They might have, unless they've sold already. Come and go. Yeah. I know nice. they've got some new stuff coming through as well. Like they've just been over to America a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Um, yeah, like a yeah big big event. Um, and yeah, making yeah making their next moves and stuff. So they have got some exciting things in the pipeline as well. So um, yeah, stay stay tuned. But the most that. exciting thing is that they're sponsoring yeah. Damien Bowler. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. Uh, the ex FC yeah. champion. Is 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 it a coincidence that they approach you and then you win the belt? I don't know. 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 Yeah. We're just going to call it a quincey. Well, yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Saying, not saying they're the reason that you won the bell. Yeah, okay. <laughs> not saying definitely American not saying Motors that at all. No, no, yeah, not saying you did it for American Motors. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Um, so, uh, so great that uh, these uh, these businesses are now really getting behind yeah. your, your your mission. Yeah, but, um, yeah, in talks with a couple others, but just obviously, yeah, not uh, not set in stone yet. But um, yeah, yeah like uh, yeah, like you said, it's good to. Uh, feel supported and like um yeah like uh you can tell like people are like obviously willing um especially when it uh starts to get financial like they obviously financially supporting mm. um and believing in you like because obviously yeah you gotta believe in yourself just as much uh it's a it ain't a um it's pretty much a you know make it if you don't make it sort of sport you know like you you gotta, you gotta give it everything um it's pretty shoot binary. You for the stars, you know. You're either winning or losing, aren't you? And, yeah. and you're putting yourself in a dangerous position every time you try and try and win. You, you yeah. step into the cage. So, so uh, but you, you were mentioning you're, you you're now full time. This is all you're doing. You're coaching. You're training. Uh, 100% dedicated. It's no swimming. It's not a side hustle. Sweating. I'll swimming. Cycling. <laughs> <laughs> to Sweating. Queensland next time, maybe if there's only a little day. And um, and so uh, yeah, these sponsors, you know, are really important because uh, they they help this uh, they help this continue for you and um, and and help get to the next level. And uh, and I'm sure when you do make it to the to the top ranks, you'll be uh, showering your your sponsors from Adelaide with all the praise in the world. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was saying, that, and it's obviously yeah, ben- beneficial. Um, for them now as well, getting in at this like the sort of the grassroots level, and, yeah, you know, like yeah, get in you, early, yeah, you you know, you make it to the top together. So um, get in before the price gets too high. Pretty much, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and and if people want to follow what you're doing and uh, want to know more, or or just want to keep their eye out for when you're ready for a next fight, where, where do they have to go to find yeah, <laughs> any uh, of these things out? Poo underscore bear underscore MMA. Who with a H? Who yeah, with, with a H, H. H? As in Pooh Bear, as in Silent H. Yeah, Silent H. <laughs> and Triple H. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, and uh, on Instagram, uh, and and uh, you, you, you're very lighthearted. You've you've got you, there's uh, there's humour there. There's uh, every every time you look at a post, there's uh, there's an underlying in joke. I find. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you, you can read behind the uh, b- between the lines and uh, and and get the joke if you if you happen to know. And uh, but more importantly. Uh, you're out there. You're sharing your journey, and uh, uh, and uh, obviously, uh, if uh, young fighters are out there and uh, and want to know how to get a belt around their waist or over their shoulder, well, this man is one to follow. So you can find that out. And sponsors looking to get more exposure as Damien's profile continues to grow, uh, jump on now. Jump on now. Now's uh, the, definitely the time to do it because. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to when he's got uh, one over either shoulder and one around the waist. So uh, uh, jump busy, in. Busy year next year. Jump in now right. because 2023, I think, is a uh, is strap year. Um, I think that's the in, it's the strap year. I think if you strap look at the strap Chinese season? zodiac, yeah. it's the yeah. uh, year of the strap. That's right. Yes, yeah, so straight off the year of the rabbit, it's year of the strap. <laughs> one so on each shoulder, one around the waist. There you go. That's how you do it. So uh, one Damien, around each leg as that's well. That's right. Thank, thank you Can't for coming walk. in and, and providing us with our, uh, an exclusive interview post. Championship. It's a, you're our very first belt holder, very first champion yep. at the microphone. A current champion. We've mm. had we've had former champions. You know, those Und- undisputed, undisputed. Well, soon to be undisputed. I would say. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it's on the way. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> <It's ruined. laughs> so, uh, so. Well, thank you so much for coming in and uh, and and sharing the belt with us. Uh, they're letting us. Uh, I, I, I guess uh, uh, letting it shine upon us and letting us uh, sit oh, we, within we, its glow. We, we can't we can't leave this conversation without uh, you showing the people your belt. Go on. <laughs> oh, you know you want. Right. Right. Where is it? All right, here we go. 
We've there got we go. the, the battle of the belts now, here. Now, important, important for uh, important for <laughs> actual fighters to know. Uh, I've not fought for this. Belt. <laughs> <laughs> you fight no, every day, there, Dan. There was no there was no courage involved <laughs> in this whatsoever. But uh, I, very fortunately for me, I, um, a, a client of mine uh, used to run a, a wrestling promotion, and uh, uh, a few and years you used ago, used to be Triple H. <laughs> <laughs> That was my role, yeah, <laughs> and uh, and uh, yeah, and so uh, anyway, we uh, very nice young man, and uh, he uh, we we had a great result, and it, he's actually called me up and he said, oh look, I've got a got a little business I'm working on, um, and uh, it's doing uh, you know three D printing and little logos and stuff like that, and uh, I was thinking about making some like little chopping boards and putting your logo on and stuff, and I was oh that's pretty cool, oh give them to clients and that's nice people who doesn't want a chopping board awesome so um uh he said oh could you send me over your logo and this is what he made well here we go we'll get the uh the battle of the belts going on here i'm probably gonna pull him up in the car park and uh roll him for his <laughs> that's, belt right. and, uh, that's number three <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, yeah. Where's the camera? There we go. Yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, the real yeah. estate agents group. It's the belt. real estate champion belt. Uh, so there you go. So uh, I think uh, I am the real estate heavyweight champion of the of the world. Of so the world. Uh, of yeah. the, the definitely the world. The greatest yeah. this champion. World. Not, not, not undefeated. <laughs> undefeated. <laughs> <laughs> it's even it's even got my logo oh, on on the as, on the buckle nice. on the back. So oh, yeah. yeah, pretty cool. So uh, have you seen Damien's belt? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll let, well, I'll tell you what it's missing. It doesn't have any of the, yeah, the fluffy yeah, stuff yeah. on the inside. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, it is uh, amazing that he did that. For yeah, it really, really cool. So yeah, yeah, I'm very, very, very thankful. So um, mm. yeah, it's pretty cool. So and now it's a prop on set. So it's uh, it's very cool. So uh, so Damien Bola, thank you very much for coming in, and thank you very much for uh, letting us uh, bask in the the glow. That there were the words I was searching for earlier. <laughs> bask in the glow of uh, the XF. See light heavyweight belt, um, and uh, look forward to uh, coming in and bringing that second belt in uh, sometime after February, twenty uh, fifth of February, uh, ne- next fight. So, and uh, if people want to see this man uh, fighting in the cage again, uh, their next opportunity is going to be at the Diamondback Fighting Championship sixteen. I think we're up to now, and. Uh, and that's all part of the Apex Sport Fest 3 at the Nord Oval. That's the 25th of February, all-day event. Starts at 12 o'clock in the morning. Culminates, I, I would believe, with your fight at the end of the night uh, for the DFC light heavyweight title belt. So uh, it's uh, it's going to be a big night. Um, and it's not just DFC. Uh, it's not just MMA. It's uh, well, There might even be some arm wrestling yeah, going on tomorrow. Right? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, we'll... we'll be there having a, a big event going on as well, as well as I think there's like 20 he- other combat sports happening. And HEMA. And yeah. Yeah. Is, uh, he- HEMA, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, Who would have thought I'll, that I'll, was a thing? I'll show you a funny video in a second just off air, but um, <laughs> very, uh, bit of, bit of HEMA, HEMA like. HEMA action? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> HEMA, medieval battles. Oh, God, there's uh, so many things. There's, there's that's kickbox- nuts. Kickboxing, there's uh, jiu jitsu tournaments, there's strongman, there yep. is. Um, uh, arm wrestling, there's, I think wrestling is there as well. Modified rugby yeah. um, tournament going on, mm. modified rules. I they think. will be there. I, I'll, I'll be there all day. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, with my belt. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, a, a massive event. Uh, the tickets are now on sale. You can go to diamondbackfc.com and grab yourself a, a ticket right now. That'll be a ticket for all day. And if you, uh, if you get yourself a spot in the grandstand nice and early, well, you'll be watching this man at the end of the night, hopefully walking away with his... His second belt, uh, first one for 2023, um, but uh, uh, hanging over the other shoulder. So uh, so uh, stay tuned, everybody. Uh, there's a lot more from this man coming your way. So uh, put your hands together one more time for Damien Volar, our Thank XFC lightweight Light heavyweight champion, so uh, soon to be lightweight champion. Soon, soon to be lightweight. He, well, <laughs> he's if, taking them all. He loses yeah. fifteen kilos <laughs> yeah, like that. that. He probably would be. So right. yeah, awesome. So uh, yeah, we'll end it there. Thanks. We'll end it. We'll, we'll end it there. Cool. <laughs> Thank you.